There's nothing that people love more than overcomplicated card tricks. You know who you are. You can't just be satisfied with the ending of a trick. You gotta pound in some extra endings. Extra endings. Extra end. Let me show you what I mean here. I also realize that the contrast between these black playing cards is gonna really not look good against my black stool. So it's black on black like crime. Some, some crime. Uh, here, uh, the participant's gonna touch any card they want. Let's say they happen to touch this one over here, which happens to be the five of squares. Of course, I wouldn't know this because I'm on four different types of cost syrup. That card is lost somewhere in the middle of the deck, just like this. And watch, look, one card is going to turn over. One card is going to turn over just like this. Did you see it? Did you see it happen? One card in the deck has turned over the five of circles. That wasn't your card? Uh, no, no, that's actually, uh, that's going to indicate to me where your card is. Watch, look, uh, if we count down five, that's one, two, three, four, five. Right here, your card, the five of squares. To complement the five of circles, uh, it would have been even better if you could find the other um, fives, right? That would have been a better trick because now you have the four fives, the, the four fives. Um, that would be a really good trick. What would be an amazing trick is if somehow I could also have found the four aces, that's right, the circle, the square, the X, and the triangle. Whoa. You see what I, you see what I mean? It has 14 endings. Why? Why can't I just pick one? Just pick one and do it. There's no reason why I have to find the other fives. There's no reason why I have to find the aces after. But you might like it because you are into AIDS. And if you really like AIDS, then you should pick up my brand new book right here, The Art of the Squeal. It's in the link in the description section below, full of some hot tricks. I have a impromptu variation or somewhat impromptu variation of Peter Nardi's Knock Em Dead, which I think is a great one. You should check it out and uh, pick it up. Or check out the Pick Cake Magic Academy, the home of over 1,400 videos going over card stuff, coin stuff, everything you need to become the best magician you could possibly be. You could get a seven-day free trial link below. This is based on a trick that I first saw done in Mark Wilson's Guide to Magic. And all it was was just you turn over that five in the middle and then it turns over and then that's the indicator, and then you have the four ace twist. But what I decided to do is to find the other fives. So now you can get into a reset, a reset style routine where these cards transpose because you have two groups of four. The amount of virginity here that I'm presenting is immense. So the setup for this trick is as follows. I'm gonna assume that these two are the red ones and these two are the colored ones. Uh, so these are red, and these are co uh, colored for the sake of explanation. So you're going to place the one that matches, in this case, the red one, and you're going to take it and place it face down in the bottom of the deck. Then you're going to take the four aces and place that on top. Then you're going to take your uh, last remaining un uh, uncolored, so this would be the diamonds, I guess, and you're going to place it third from the top with the two other fives on top of that. That goes on top of the deck, and you're ready to go, baby. You can do any sort of false cut and shuffle that you want as long as it preserves the order of the cards and you're going to do a spread whole force of this card which is third from the top you could learn that on the pig cake magic academy or really any force so you could do any force whatsoever as long as the rest of the deck is kept in the exact same order i just like this one because you could spread through the cards you could have them touch whichever card they want and guess what it doesn't matter because that's your card you, you see what i did there i did the sneaky move but you're going to do a card force of this card, insert your favorite card force here. Now you are going to cut the deck and make sure that wherever their card goes, let's say it goes here, that your little sneaky half, in this case, the half of the aces is gonna go on top. So again, this is simply done. You have this card, I'm gonna cut the cards, I'm gonna place this card over here, and I'm gonna complete the cut. Now in completing the cut, you're pretty much done. You're pretty much good to go. You could say, look, one card is gonna turn over, and then you spread it, and they go, that's not my card. Yeah, you idiot, short idiot, you short idiot. And you go, I didn't say it was going to be your card. I said, I just, I said one card is going to turn over. And you go, this card indicates to me the position of your card. In this case, it's five. And you're going to take this card and you're going to deal, in this case, one, two, three, four, and five. And the fifth card is going to be their card. It happens automatically or automagically. And you get a nice little bonus that these uh, happen to match if you're using a regular non-retarded deck. Now here at this point, you have the other two fives on top of the deck. So you could produce them however you want. I like doing this little bit. It's a nice flashy, flourishy way of doing it. All I'm doing there 
is I'm just procuring a break underneath the second one. I'm going to lift up both. I'm going to use my thumb to slide this one off, but then I'm going to turn it over. You see what I'm doing there? I'm just turning this one over with this one. And then I could turn this one face up and we have a nice little production. If you do it quick, it just looks like this and they happen to just appear magically. And you go, well, it would be a better trick if I can make the uh, fives, the other fives appear. And now you have a second effect, a second little twist. And then you go, well, it would be even better. And of course, you turn to the four cards that you've dealt previously, and they happen to be the four aces. So you have a lot for little, just like with me. You get a lot but for little. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, some advice at the end of the video. Boy, I don't know. I don't know. I think I've exhausted all my things. Actually, no, here. Uh, I've actually taken this uh, knife, and uh, it's a cheap m -Tech knife from Amazon, and uh, what I've done is that I've actually modified it. I've modified it. So I've taken a, uh, a grinder and I've actually grinded this and turned it into a little bit of a, of a pry thing. And you would think, oh, wow, wh why'd you do that? You ruined the... No, I didn't. I didn't because uh, I was at my friend's house the other day and I needed to do some stuff with his air conditioner and I need to pry out the filter. You can't use this. You can't use this because, um, well, I've done that before and people make fun of me for using a knife to have things open. Uh, so this right here, I grinded it down. Guess what? I used it to just pop it open and it worked. Same thing with this right here, this multi-tool that I've had uh, on me for the past couple weeks. And uh, it's phenomenal. I don't know what just snapped, but uh, that didn't sound good. And what I did here is that I actually ground, in this case, these two. So the bottle opener, I grounded it into uh, what is a little bit of a pry thingy. And it's been uh, very useful. Same thing with this. Look at that. So this used to have a little screwdriver on top. And I just grinded it into uh, what is a little knife, a little small knife, and uh, a Phillips head, and uh, a little thing that you can pry things. And it's been infinitely more useful. So don't take things for granted. Modify things for your needs. I see you again when 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 I see you again. When I shall go, when I shall go.